My man Zar make tracks like this. What's going on, y'all? Uh, I wanted to show you something that I have discovered in Studio One Four, which is helpful for those who use analog summing or for those who uh, print you know, their mixes back into Studio One or for those who are using uh, analog gear in their mixes. So, I if you look at my mixer here, I've got uh, two pieces of analog gear that I'm using on uh, this mix, which is uh, the Magnum K that I'm using on uh, lead vocals. And I've got the API 529 that I'm using on uh, background vocals. So before in Studio One, uh, the previous version, and just to quickly show you, I'm running version uh, 4.1.04 4 I've not updated to the the uh, newest version because I'm in the middle of this mix. You know, you should never uh, update your DAW in the middle of a project. But once this mix gets approved, I will be going to the uh, latest version of Studio One. But in this version, so what I've noticed is that when I go, let me find my um, print track here at the bottom. So I solo it. So I go to export that track. And you'll notice that use real-time processing is not checked. Before, I would need to go and bypass all of my hardware effects. Therefore, it would... Um, I'd be able to, to offline export uh, without it using real time. But even with these inserted, if you go to export, there's no use real time processing. And what I've noticed is that when I do bounce it, that uh, Studio One will bypass all of these effects as it's bouncing. Uh, well, it won't bypass it in the in the fact that is bypassing it that you won't be able to hear the effects but just as it's going through the bouncing uh, or exporting process they're bypassed to where I won't have to use real-time processing I'll just I'll give an example here so uh, I've got to see tracks that track and I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know click OK and you'll notice you'll see all of the uh, effects have been uh, bypassed here in the in the mix so um, it's just a quick tip if you're uh, recording your mix back in like I am with analog summing and you're using analog hardware uh, you no longer have to bypass your hardware effects so that uh, will force you to use real time or used to force you to use real time uh, when doing that so, uh, yeah, any questions, comments, let me know if you're, um, this is helpful. Let me know if you've discovered this. Uh, let me know. Uh, hopefully this remains the same as I update to the newest uh, version of Studio One because I didn't uh, read anything in the release notes of the last version about this changing the way that it handles uh, exporting. But um, I do like this because I no longer have to worry about bypassing. And then when I pull a mix back up, I have to re-enable those hardware effects. And sometimes I forget and I'm listening to the mix and I'm like, eh, something sounds off. And I, for I had uh, forgot to uh, re-engage a compressor or EQ or something like that. So uh, I really like the way that, uh, that this is doing this now here in Studio One. So as I was watching... Uh, this video back, I realized that when I was exporting that and I have this track that I recorded my mix back in soloed, all of the other tracks were bypassed with their effects, but not uh, this track that I have soloed. So what I've done now is I've placed a pipeline uh, on the track that I recorded the mix on. So when I go to export, you'll see that use real time processing is not checked. But when I click OK, you'll notice that the speed at the top says uh, real time. So what's happening here is you're only it's only uh, keeping live the effects for um, for the track that you have solos. 
So if you're using pipeline on an individual track and you just go to uh, export mix down, then yes, you'll need to bypass that pipeline in order to not force uh, the real time processing. Uh, but if you're recording your mix back into Studio One, if you're printing your mix, you've already recorded through that hardware, through pipeline into the mix. And then when you go to, to export that, uh, like I'm doing here, then you won't have to uh, bypass the hardware effects because the, it's only keeping live the track that you have soloed. Hope that makes sense to everyone. All right, uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time.